What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we do have some brand new WWE action figure leaked Elite Series news for you guys. Yes ma'am, we do have some news for you guys. We have a brand new Elite set on the horizon guys. It's very nice. It looks very epic and it is WWE Elite Series 70 from Mattel. As you guys can see there on your screen, the lineup as it seems. It is going to be EC3, Dolph Ziggler, Finn Balor, Johnny Gargano, Mr. McMahon, and Seth freaking Rollins. Now this set's pretty interesting guys. You know we do know what some of these already look like. I'm going to go ahead and knock those out of the park already just because we've already seen them but Elite Series 70 Seth Rollins it is going to be in the shield attire like we saw at Mania Access. You guys know it's like the updated vest with the shield crotch and legs. I don't like this figure. I really don't. I like the vest. The vest is pretty cool but we've gotten so many shield figures and we've gotten so many different shield figures in different you know ways that I am just over this figure. We've seen this top 10 head scan for Seth Rollins. We've seen it before. It's bare-armed. I don't know why it doesn't come with gloves. Maybe they uh, are working on like some new mold or something. It would be cool to see if they did the AJ Styles arms maybe and gave him the textured gloves and interchangeable hands that way. That would be something that would be different for Seth Rollins and these updated shield figures. But I'm not that excited for this Seth Rollins. It's just, I don't know, it's a Debbie Downer because I would like to see, you know, one of his attire. The Thanos attire is, is something I want to see. So that is uh, sort of disappointing as far as Elite Series 7 he goes. It is going to be the Shield Seth Rollins. Up next, we do have Johnny Gargano. We also saw this at WrestleMania Access, guys. As you know, it's going to have the True Effects technology. The, the prototype here in the image that we saw at Access looks fantastic. I love this, this figure. It looks great. It looks absolutely great. It's the uh, red, black, white, and blue attire, I think. If I can, I'll pop up a picture on the screen of that attire that he wore. I can't remember what takeover it was, but it is a very nice attire. Many people have made many customs that look fantastic of this attire. And I think that Mattel will do well on it. I hope they give him the ripped up torso, though. You know, the Finn Balor, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins torso is what I would like to see for this figure. Hopefully, they do deliver on that. But I don't have high hopes because Elite Series 69 Ciampa is uh, with that small torso uh, like we get with AJ Styles. So I, I don't know. I don't have high hopes for it. But I, you know, if maybe if they have time or something, I know that the finalized product isn't fully here yet. So maybe they can sneak that in, get that torso in there. The last figure that we have seen from this wave, guys, is EC3. And I think there may be some rumors circulating or something. Or maybe I heard this on a dirt sheet or read this somewhere. But he's thinking about leaving the company or something. And I would understand why because, I mean, they have treated him like absolute garbage since he's got called up from NXT, and I'm not the biggest EC3 fan or anything, but my god, they've made him look like nothing but a complete idiot, and he just looks disinterested, and I wouldn't blame the man at all for leaving, but his figure looks fantastic, and hopefully he decides to part ways with WWE after this figure is released, because this figure looks great, but EC3 is our last figure from this wave that we know exactly what it's going to look like. The other figures, though, Finn Balor, Dolph Ziggler, and Mr. McMahon. This is very interesting, guys. Three or two, I should say. Not three. Vince McMahon, not, not one of my favorites. But anyways, let's get into it here, guys. Dolph Ziggler, I really do not know exactly what attire we're going to get. Maybe we're going to get Extreme Rules, you know, in that evil Knievel attire that we've seen. I, I don't know if it's been long enough from the Royal Rumble. I know he had a pretty cool zebra black and pink attire that he wore at the Royal Rumble for 2019. I feel like that would be too soon, but I don't know. They've, they've pumped figures out pretty quickly beforehand. You know, the turnaround time has been sort of uh, here and there, hit and miss when it comes to, you know, getting attires out for certain guys. But uh, this is very interesting indeed. I hope that it's the... I would go for the, you know, that Evil Knievel Extreme Rules attire in the blue and orange where he took, took on Seth Rollins. Or maybe Royal Rumble 2018 where he came out at number 30 and then I thought he had a chance at winning and he absolutely did not even come close to winning. And then, you know, he got eliminated in that. You know, you guys can see the custom on the screen. I like this attire a lot. And I think that that would be a great release as well. I'm just happy we're getting a new Elite of my boy Ziggler. You know, we haven't seen one since Elite Series 48. That is absolutely crazy. It's about, I think it's 20. Yeah, 20 series ago. And I think that is that is crazy that it's been that long. But the next guy, guys, Finn Balor, one of my other favorite wrestlers. And I don't know if this is going to be Demon or Non-Demon. I know that there was rumors going around that there could be an NXT Demon Finn Balor in the NXT Series 5 replacing Hideo Itami. But are they going to release a Demon Finn Balor from NXT in that wave and give us a Demon Finn Balor in the main Elite line? 
one, or are those going to end up being that same figure, like as far as like, you know, they, they were going to plug it in for Hideo, or is this the figure that we're getting here in the main elite line that was going to be that place for Hideo? I don't, I don't really know, but it's going to be cool to see whether it's non-demon or whether it's demon. I just hope to God we get the ripped up torso. Maybe they'll give us SummerSlam 2018 for Finn Balor. Maybe they'll give us one of his, you know, uh, different color attires. Maybe we'll get Elimination Chamber 2018. Maybe we'll get No Mercy where he took on Bray Wyatt. Maybe we'll get Royal Rumble 2018. I don't know. I just want something new. Again, the turnaround time for Royal Rumble, you know, where he took on Lesnar in the Universal title looking uh, attire where it's like the, the version that he wears now on SmackDown Live, but he has the white kick pads where he took on Lesnar. I would like that attire if the turnaround time again could be made. I don't know again, but one thing I want from this Finn Balor is if it is non-demon, it really needs to be that, you know, that long-bearded, faded head scan that I've been talking about. I've been mentioning here on the channel. I really want to see that from Mattel, so hopefully that is what we get. I want the long, faded beard, by God. Just give me that. Don't give me some stupid, goofy head scan. Don't repeat head scans that we've seen in the past. Give us a long bearded head scan for Finn Balor, and that will be nice. And the last figure in this wave, guys, is Vince McMahon, and I think this is the way the figure is going to look. I think it's supposed to be an 80s Vince McMahon, so it's going to be his commentary version, you know, probably light blue jacket, something, uh, younger head scan. I think it'll be a cool figure. I'll definitely pick it up. It'll be worth getting. Plug it in next to our network spotlights and our suited up Vince McMahons, our corporate Vince, Vince, Vince McMahons, and we'll have sort of, you know, a little timeline going there with, uh, you know, all of our setups. I'd like to see an Attitude Era Vince McMahon in the suit, though, or like a Ruthless Aggression in the suit. That is something I want to see. I know we got one from, you know, 2011 or 2010. I, I don't want that. I want, you know, early 2000s or late 90s Vince McMahon is what I would like to see. So, I, I, I don't know. Maybe that is it, but I think the rumor is that this is going to be a more even flashback Vince McMahon, so that's probably what we're going to get with that one. And that pretty much does it for Elite Series 70, guys. The full line leaked here um, online here. I, I cannot believe it. I, I think it's been shared a lot of times, so I really cannot uh, give credit to somebody. I think WWE Hasbro Figs was the first to report on it on Instagram. I could be wrong about that, but I wanted to plug him because I think he did send it to me. And um, another news that we have here from Zack Ryder on Twitter and from the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, they posted on their social media that we are getting a surprise figure on Wednesday from Mattel. And they gave us a little riddle, guys, as you, could, uh, as you guys can read here on the screen. What does it say? It says, uh, hey, WWE Universe, San Diego Comic-Con is right around the corner. And we just got word that on June 5th, Mattel is going to reveal some huge Comic-Con news that's going to make you snap. Can you guess what it is? That is going to be the riddle there. It says, uh, the com this Comic-Con news that's going to make you snap. And the first thing that comes to my mind, guys, is, and a lot of people are thinking the same thing, is it going to be a Comic-Con uh, SDCC exclusive Seth Rollins in the Thanos attire? That is something that a lot of people are saying because, you know, snap. Thanos with the snap from the movie and all that, and he wore the Thanos attire at SummerSlam, and maybe that's going to be the Comic-Con exclusive. That is something. And they also put this silhouette of a figure here, and I don't think that this has anything to do with the figure. I think that this is just supposed to be, you know, like a vacant... Uh, like silhouette of a male superstar. I don't think it's supposed to be any, you know, actual silhouette of the figure itself. So um, hopefully it's Thanos, Seth Rollins. I will definitely be trying to get that. I know that the, uh, the, the Comic-Con exclusives are going to be really, really hard to get. I know that uh, from other lines, like the DBZ figures that I collect and other lines, um, you know, Marvel Legends, stuff like that. A lot of the times, guys, these, these exclusives to these cons, especially San Diego Comic-Con, the biggest con for figures and uh, media or pop culture around the world. Those figures are really hard to obtain. And um, even for people in the States, they're really hard to obtain. So I can't imagine if they release this Thanos, Seth Rollins, hopefully it won't be that hard to get. I know in years past, I, I, I don't know uh, if we've had really a San Diego. I think the last one was Undertaker, right? I'm not sure on that. Um, I think Isaac Yankum was supposed to be, and then he ended up going to Toys R Us, and then there was supposed to be another one, and that ended up going to Toys R Us. Anything that's been Comic-Con exclusive, I think, has been pushed to Toys R Us um, in the last few years, if they were even exclusives to uh, San Diego Comic-Con. But the latest I can remember is Undertaker, I think, and it ended up being re-released in the Defining Moments line, and uh, it was just a little bit different there. But hopefully it's Thanos, Seth Rollins. I think that would be absolutely incredible. Plug it into the Seth Rollins collection. That is one that we are all missing from our Seth Rollins figures. So that is definitely one that I would love to see. And um, uh, hopefully that is what it is. And 
if it isn't the you know the Seth Rollins, then I hope that it's something uh, nice and something that we want. I heard people guessing it could be a Kurt Angle figure. I don't know if that's because it's bald in the silhouette there, or if it's you know they they actually think that that's what it is. But that's the only thing I can think of. It's some news that is going to make you snap or whatever. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. But anyways, guys, unless they give us they're going to give us like a Gene Snitsky or Heidenreich figure, which I highly doubt. But that is pretty much all the figure news I have for you guys. Elite Series 70 is uh, is leaked here with a pretty solid lineup. I'm excited for it. I'm more excited for Elite Series 69, I think, even though my boy Finn Balor, Dolph Ziggler, and Seth Rollins are in this line. The Seth Rollins is a disappointment, and we do not yet know what Ziggler and Finn Balor will look like, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the news. What do you think that San Diego Comic-Con exclusive or news or whatever the hell Mattel is going to tell us on Wednesday will be? Please let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to know your thoughts down below, but follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.